Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's the end of the year. We're just about ready to head into the new year. So I figured I'd do something a little bit different. I want to go through uh, the review or the process of my losing 63 pounds, which to me was just a totally amazing uh, achievement. So all right so it began actually two years ago when uh i was 246 pounds one day i got up looked in the mirror and said this is not the person that i really want to be so <laughs> i was like wow uh 246 pounds i was like huge and uh, as you can see in the picture, it was just, I was unbelievably big. Never that big before in my life. That was January of 2022 is when I said, I need to do something about it. Got my blood work back. They put me on statins because my cholesterol is high. I was borderline diabetic and just not in physically very good shape. I breathed heavy um it just was a little bit of exertion so i started off by doing intermittent fasting uh, so i would eat just one meal a day and eliminate snacking so still ate a lot of bad food still but eliminate snacking cut sugar out as much as possible i didn't cut it out completely but i didn't i i used to use like two scoops of sugar and creamer in my coffee each day, I went totally black. So, <laughs> um, so I said, I gotta get a handle on the, uh, on the sugar levels in my blood. And I do, did not wanna be a diabetic. So it was, uh, I mean, a rude awakening. So I, I uh, did the intermittent fasting, ate once a day, and I lost weight. And then I started to use my bicycle, but in the manual mode and not, uh, not using the E-mode, you know, which makes life a lot easier. So I wanted to get some exercise. That was about it for the exercising at that point. Uh, just uh, uh, intermittent fasting and uh, bicycling each day. And by July of 2022, I lost... 36 pounds, which was a real good step in the right direction. I was doing pretty decently. And then uh, I was like, okay, okay, I can do this. Matter of fact, I did a video saying, hey, you know, look, I lost 36 pounds and this is all I had to do. So um, I did get exercise bands and I started doing a little bit of strength training at that time also. And then I kind of got, and I was looking good, you know, I, was, I wasn't looking too bad. Still had a pot belly. I mean, it's, I, I, I mean, I've gotten rid of uh, most of it now. So it's, uh, I mean, I still wasn't where I wanted to be, but I was in, definitely going in the right direction. I had, after the 36 pound loss, because I was at 246, I was 210, I did lose uh, more weight and I hit 200. So yeah, I just needed to put that in there. So I was down to 200 and then we went off with friends um, and we traveled around the country with our friends for about nine months and it was a great time. We love our, our friends. We really do. We love them dearly. They're, they're, they're great people, Bill and Sandy. Um, hey, Bill, Sandy. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I'm not blaming them, but uh, when you hang out with friends and that, you tend to have a few beers and you tend to eat a little more and snack and stuff because, you know, you're having a good time. And uh, I put 14 pounds back on uh, over the next nine months. We pretty much, yeah, hung out for about nine months. And so then I was back up to 214. So, but it, that's not too bad. So I lost 46 pounds, put 14 back on over a nine or 10 month period. And I was like, 
ah, oh, man, I got to get back on the wagon. We, we uh, left our friends. Uh, we had to go our different ways. Uh, so we haven't been together with them for a while. Um, so I decided I needed to get back on the bandwagon, get down in weight. Um, by that time, that was what? August of 2023, this year. I was 214, August 2nd. Um, and I said, well, in a few months, I'm going to have to have my checkup with my doctor. And they're going to do the blood work again. And so I got I to gotta fix things. So I stopped my statins. So don't you do this. I did this on my own. What I do is what I do. Don't do necessarily what I do. So you should really consult with the doctor before doing anything like this. But I decided to not take the statins anymore because the statins can actually elevate your your blood sugar a little bit and it's not the greatest thing for your liver either that's why they do a blood work every year just make sure you haven't destroyed your liver that's just not a good thing so 214 august 2nd i got uh, more exercise bands the loop bands uh, i actually picked them up at walmart walmart doesn't sell them anymore uh, amazon's probably your next best choice to get bands um, and started working out with the bands, starting, started to do cardio in addition to my, my bicycling. And then I, uh, used this app called Samsung health. And I started watching the food that I eat. I, first of all, I eliminated all processed food. I mean, it just processed food, very, very bad for you. Um, I ate all sorts of junk before. So look at the labels. You can't even pronounce half the crap that's in there. So ah, let me have a, a sit. Let me sit down here. Ah. So I uh, use the Samsung Health uh, app that comes free with the Samsung phones. I have a Galaxy S22, um, and I like it a lot. And in there, you can keep track of your exercise routines and your walking. It counts your steps. You can enter in your food intake. So I went to a website to calculate my, my macros and to see how many calories a day I should be taking in. And what I found is the calorie intake that they say you can take in I think I would gain weight if I took in all the calories that they say. So you're going to have to adjust these things to your body because everybody is a little bit different. <laughs> um, so, and I'll show you the how at the macro calculator and how I did it. And, and so 14, 1500 calories a day with a good amount of exercise each week and I can lose weight. It's all based on your, your current body weight and your activity level, things like that. More activity, the more calories you burn, the less restrictive your diet has to be. So the diet that I'm doing is a high protein diet. Um, the high protein uh, is so I prevent muscle loss because when you lose a lot of weight, and you're not compensating with high amounts of protein, your body starts robbing uh, nutrients from, from your muscles. And you lose muscle mass over the years anyway, so you don't want to lose it at a, at a faster rate than you normally would have anyway. So high protein diet, high protein, 130 grams of protein per day at least. And I do kind of intermittent fasting, I'll eat one or two meals a day with no processed foods. The process, eliminating the processed foods was a big step in the right direction because I started losing weight just by doing that. And then, like I said, watching the calorie intake and the macronutrients and trying to hit that high amount of protein, uh, started doing uh, walking programs as well. Um, a, uh, what I call 
power walk, walk 3.2 miles three times a week at a very high pace, like four miles an hour. That is a real fast uh, walking pace. So I do that. Um, and there's a walking, there are walking programs in the Samsung Health app too. And I'll show you that too. So that's what I've been following was a 10 week program and it's awesome. And uh, it got easier as time went on. Started off at like a one, one and a quarter miles and worked your way up to 3.2 miles. It's, which it says it's a baby steps to 5K was the name of the program. So, so it's called baby steps to 5K. And excellent program. Started off at like 1.2 miles um, and just gradually worked up over a 10 week period to 3.2 miles. At a real brisk walk, what I call power walking. And uh, that's good for fat burning too. It's really supposed to, the program is getting you ready to do a 5K run. That last week, which is what I'm just coming up to now is uh, supposed to be a running week. All those other weeks leading up to that point was a uh, uh, just building up stamina, walking real fast. I mean, basically just under jog speed, really. And then uh, make it so you can do a 5K run. So I'm on that last week where I start to actually run. Uh, you can restart the program all over and just do that to just keep giving you an incentive to uh, do these walks. Uh, but they have another program called uh, uh, Steps to uh, 10K. I might do that. So, I think that's probably what I'll do is uh, do the 10K one next and uh, just keep building on that. I think it should be uh, pretty good. Uh, more people coming into the park. It's, uh, it's New Year's Eve, an interesting day to be traveling, huh? So, anyway. So the 10K one is, is uh, next. I don't think I want to do the actual running. I'll do their training with all the brisk walking, and that will uh, be good. Because uh, running would be kind of hard on the knees. And uh, at this age, I don't want to run into that problem. So... All right, so 10K is the next. Um, to help me hit the, hit the uh, protein levels that I want to hit, I, uh, I use uh, some protein powder, whey protein powder. Uh, on the days that I think I'm going to fall short of where I want to be. And I'll show that to you. There's two different kinds of protein powder. You can get the whey protein or you can get a, like a vegetarian uh, protein powder. But they don't pack as much punch. And they're not as complete in the macronutrient department as the whey protein is. So the whey protein is actually comes from uh, milk, uh, milk byproducts. So... Uh, another thing I love is the Okios Triple Zero Greek Yogurt. 15 grams of protein in a cup, and it's only 90 calories. So, uh, in order to achieve this weight loss, you've got to, you got to uh, restrict your calories, and, uh, but keep that protein level up so you don't lose muscle. Um, it's difficult to gain muscle mass when your goal is to lose weight. Um, my goal is to get down to 175. I'm only eight pounds away. We'll see how it looks. Um, 
might even go to go for 165. I don't think I want to get below that point. And then I can concentrate on building more muscle. Uh, the more muscle you build, the, uh, the more calories you tend to burn even at rest. So that would be the goal. All right. So new beginning for the new year, a slimmer me. And uh, keep on going. This way I can, if I can keep myself healthier for a longer period of time, that means that's the longer period of time I can be RVing and traveling the country and doing the things that I enjoy to do. I really do like to play golf and stuff, and uh, I want to get back into doing that. But I just cannot believe how I let myself go to the point of where I was at. I mean, you look at the pictures from just two years ago, and then the pictures today, and it's like, wow, uh, I, I didn't realize I looked that bad until I look back, see where I'm at now. All right. Hey, so to go from August 2nd to December 2nd, I lost, well, I went from the 214 down to 183. Now, I've held 183 for the entire month of December. So that's not bad going through Thanksgiving, Christmas, and now New Year. And so if I maintain the 183, um, well, I did maintain the 183, and then we get on the other side of New Year's, 2024, I will restart up working hard to get that uh, that weight down once again uh, to 175 and possibly 165. We'll we'll see how how I feel at that point, and then we'll work on getting more uh, increasing muscle mass. And so when you do that, I will increase weight, but. At that point, I'm looking to decrease my percentage of body fat. So it'd be great to get lean to about 15%. I think I'm probably somewhere around 20 to 25% body fat right now based on my appearance. So I'm thinking if I can get down to about 15%, that would be doing uh, really good. And then that's where I'd maintain it need to maintain some fat on your body in case you get sick. So, especially at 68 years old. January, I turned 68 years old. So, and I want to stick around for a lot longer. In order to do that, I think, you know, keep the weight off and exercise. And then, like I said, we'll be able to keep on RVing uh, longer because I will be healthier. Um, I am no longer on statins. I took myself off the of statins, and uh, like three months before, I was due to see the doctor and the blood work. Blood work came back. I told the doctor what I did. He says, well, you don't need the statins anymore. You're doing good. And my AC1 is down to normal. So I'm thinking, well, okay, so I got my blood sugar down. Don't need statins. I am drug-free at this point, and so I want to maintain that you know i just look back at those pictures and the other videos and, and i say how did i let myself get to that point and the weight was just unbelievable i had never been that heavy before ever ever in my life so that's uh to me that was just totally disgusting so uh, you can do it absolutely hey new year make yourself a commitment um, like I said, now I lost my 63 pounds over basically just coming up on a two year period, but that's cause I took off almost a year, right? And gained only 14 pounds, which wasn't too, too bad. So, um, I, as far as drinking beer and alcohol in general, I only have like a beer every once in a while. 
So certainly no more than two when I'm out socializing. I mean, let's face it, you, you got to live too. You can't just be uh, constantly on diet and, and being totally restrictive. Let's get real. So, so the, uh, just occasionally go off. Actually, it's probably a good idea to come off your diet every once in a while. Take a day or two off from the diet and eat you feel content and feel good, you feel satisfied, just take off a couple of days from the diet. That's what I'm doing right now. Today, tomorrow, I'm off my diet. Um, and then I will be back on it January 2nd and, and work, get down to the, the next level. And uh, so 175, here I come. I said, that's only eight pounds away. I can do that in a week or two weeks. Do it in two weeks. The only downfall to this whole thing is that I've noticed my skin on my arms gotten kind of crepey. Because let's face it, I lost fat in my arms and my legs besides my stomach and chest. Um, and that there is some extra skin here and there, like my lower abdomen. Uh, extra skin that I've never had before. As we get older, our body produces less collagen. Collagen is what gives your skin the elasticity. And so, you know, losing, because let's see, if I lose another eight pounds, that's what, 71 pounds that I will have lost. Uh, if I go for 165, then that's 81 pounds that I will have lost. Um, and at this age, your skin's just not going to go back completely. I don't think I'd love to, um, and hopefully over time, it would take time for your skin to go back. That is the only downfall to this whole thing. You know what? I'd rather deal with some excess skin than being, uh, obese. And that's what I was. I was definitely obese. Don't want to do it ever again, ever, ever, ever. So, uh, everything in moderation. Uh, I can breathe better. Now, they told me years ago I had COPD, but I have, uh, I feel pretty good. I mean, they told me I had COPD 15 years ago, and that's why I always breathed heavy. Well, I'm telling you, with all that extra weight that I had on me, that, uh, <laughs> that extra weight made it worse. So, way worse. So, I feel pretty good now. So, um, I'll put out a video here and there uh, of what kind of food I'm eating, how we're preparing it. I mean, you can do this while RVing. You can go on to an exercise program while traveling the country. No problem. Some parks may have uh, workout rooms, and uh, a lot of them don't but some do you could make use of those when when you do come across them or get yourself some resistance bands and you can work out in the trailer so um there's nothing wrong with doing exercise with the loop bands and i got two different kinds of bands that i use um i got some pretty high strength bands that i'm using right now uh, in addition to the bands that I originally bought, the second set of bands I bought on Amazon, um, spent about 30 bucks, and it's uh, definitely a worthwhile um, uh, set for 30 bucks. Not bad, not bad at all. So um, I, I will do strength training five days a week. Um, so, and I do my cardio three times a week, and I do my power walking three times a week. So between all that, we're burning, burning a fair amount of calories. So if I want to eat more, then I just increase that uh, physical activity. And um, then I can eat a little heavier. So if, if uh, we're planning on visiting with some family and I know I'm going to eat more, then I will increase my, my strength in cardio training. You've got to do both. I think, uh, both strength and cardio. So, but I will be more than happy if you guys uh, want me to, I'll show you the exercises that I've been doing and the cardio programs that I've been following. And I'll show you the, uh, as far as cooking, what our diet is like. So actually the diet is not bad. It's 
especially if you're on a high protein diet because you can lean more towards meat. But you don't want to do too much red meat. I like to do red meat once or twice a week and eat a lot of chicken. Chicken gives you good protein and is lean. So we're not really restricting the carbs. I'm not uh, uh, restricting the protein, of course. So carbs are getting a decent amount. That gives you energy. So you need carbs and uh, the protein to maintain and build muscle. It's the fat that we got to watch, the saturated fats. So I'm on a pretty balanced diet, though. With high protein uh, is 30% of my total diet. The fats are 30% of my diet. Um, and my carbs are about 30 to 35%. Same thing with the protein, actually 35 sometimes 40%. So it's, I slide it up and down a little bit. but um, So it's a decent amount of carbs, not crazy. But lower fat, that's, I think, where the key ingredient is. Now, I am not a nutritionist. I am not a doctor. I do this on my own. If you follow, you want to follow what I'm doing, that's great. That's all on you. you. You should talk to your doctor first before doing anything, and they can maybe help you along. So don't necessarily do what I do. I'm just showing you what I'm doing, how I did it. and. Uh, how good I feel. So. All right, here's some of the things that I like to eat. This makes a great snack. Eggs. Whoa. Oh, they're hard boiled. Don't worry about it. So it didn't even crack. All right. So hard boiled eggs. Great snack. Um, I love eggs any which way. Now I eat the whole thing. A lot of people only eat the white because that's where all the protein is. And they don't eat the uh, yolk. I don't like, I want the whole thing. Because in the yolk is a lot of really great vitamins. So the egg is a pretty, actually well-balanced meal. High protein, 6.2 grams of protein per egg. And the egg is only 70 calories each. So that's great. Makes a great snack. If you're hungry, grab a hard-boiled egg. I also like to make eggs, uh, make an egg sandwich in the morning for breakfast, and I will cook the eggs in the microwave, no fat, um, you scramble them up, no milk in it, and then do that. Okios, triple zero, Greek yogurt, 15 grams of protein, but look at this, zero added sugars, zero artificial sweeteners zero fat excellent so i eat one of these these are only 90 calories wow look at that high protein low calories that is the goal so uh, here and your diet doesn't have to cost a lot look at this dill pickles Great value. It's only a few bucks a jar. And it's basically cucumbers, water, vinegar, salt. Um, there is some calcium chloride. You can get others that are just simply cucumbers and vinegar and water. But if you look here, five calories. And some brands show zero calories. So uh, just got to watch because it does have a fair amount of sodium. But basically, any kind of fermented food is going to be low calories or no calories, and it's really good for you. Sauerkraut, and another excellent, excellent uh, food to add as a side dish. Have pork chops, have some sauerkraut with it. Hot, I don't eat hot dogs and that processed food. I have eliminated, so no processed food. All right, this is uh, my whey protein supplement. Look at that, 30 grams of protein. Now, that's if you use water to mix it with. And it's 180 calories 
but look, if you look at all the nutrition in this, it is just jam-packed full of vitamins. So I use this, uh, and I'll add 2% milk with it. The, the milk will add some milk will add some protein uh, to it. Um, and then uh, ice cubes and frozen strawberries or mixed berries. Throw a cup of that in there. Like I said, I use the uh, Nutribullet to blend it all in. One scoop of the whey protein powder, a cup of the uh, strawberries, great antioxidants in there. Um, really, really healthy for you. Uh, a cup of 2% milk and then and then maybe a little bit of water <clears throat> to dilute that. Ah, oh, here's brings me to this other. <sighs> huh. I add this in with my my uh, shake, my high protein shake. Chia seeds, super. It is a superfood. So thirty. Let's see, I, two tablespoons is a serving, and that would be 130 calories. So making this shake with the chia seeds, if you do the full serving of the chia seeds, it's going to be a fair amount of calories, but you've got a lot of, a lot of protein, uh, five grams of protein in the serving of the chia seeds. But, see, this is a prebiotic. What the heck is that? Prebiotic is what feeds the probiotic, which aids in your gut health. So chia seeds considered a superfood you should have one serving of this somehow during the course of your day it's versatile it soaks up 12 12 times its own weight in water so and it, you can make like a pudding out of it um it, it forms into like a gel so it helps make you feel full and boy it turns this whey protein shake until it's all it's almost like ice cream it gets so thick so um and that helps make you feel full but it really just aids in the digestion so chia seeds is what i use flax seeds is also uh pretty darn good too but i like the chia seeds um it's not terribly expensive uh this package lasts me a long time so a lot of times i'll just put in one tablespoon, which is a half serving of the chia seeds into the shake. Um, I sometimes I'll take, if I'm not going to have a sh one of those high protein shakes, the whey protein shake, then I'll put this, uh, a tablespoon in with my yogurt, the Greek yogurt, right? The Okios, really good. Here's the other protein shake. <clears throat> It's organic. I gave it a whirl. It's French vanilla. Um, not bad. It doesn't taste bad. It's pretty decent. I got it at Walmart once again. 20 grams of protein. See, it's it's uh, vegan or vegan. 140 calories. It, it, the, the problem with plant-based protein is that it is not complete uh, in the macronutrient department. So a lot of essential uh, nu nutrients are missing if you are using just plant protein. So whey protein is a lot better. I was going to say whey protein is way better. <sighs> I know, corny. So anyway, so these that's just some of the stuff that I do and lots and lots of chicken chicken breast with no skin, skinless. So uh, fish, I love fish. Fish is great also. Salmon, probably the best fish to eat. Um, shrimp, a lot of times I'll have shrimp as a, uh, as a snack. And the uh, shrimp is high protein and low calories. So one serving of shrimp is, uh, which is about 13, 11 to 13 medium shrimp. And I'll have a little cocktail sauce and dip it in the cocktail sauce. Uh, it's only 70 calories. So you can eat good and keep your calorie level down. I love to snack. All right. And it is sometimes really hard 
not to snack. So you got to feel like you're really cheating. So you can have a snack and not cheat. You'd like I said, the hard boiled eggs or pickle, pickles, not bad. Or I do a lot of these things too. It's tuna. It's one serving in the package, but look at that. 16 grams of protein. And you can get this in different kinds of flavors. Uh, and it's only 80 calories. Ooh, really not bad. Sometimes that's all you need is a little edge. Here's a great value one. It doesn't have to be expensive stuff. Uh, the bumblebee happened to be on sale at the time I got it. So wild caught chunk light tuna, 70 calories, 15 grams of protein. Um, and they keep a long time and they don't weigh much and they don't take up much room. So what else we got in there? Um, that, and that was lemon pepper. What are the, are the flavors? Uh, lemon pepper. Oh, oh here's, here's one that I like too. Uh, sweet and spicy chunk like tuna, wild caught. Still 15 grams, only 80 calories, but you know, different flavors. So lemon pepper, sweet and spicy. I like the sweet and spicy. Uh, the apple wood's not bad. Neither is the lemon pepper. So it just, you know, it gives you a little variety. All right, so another thing I eat a lot of is salad. It helps make you full along with the other stuff. Uh, tomatoes, lettuce, carrots, cucumber, all that stuff. <clears throat> Give you some more fiber too. Fiber definitely is a key to this. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll make our own dressing with oil and vinegar. Um, and uh, the oil is olive oil. So got that. Another thing I like, green tea. Uh, <clears throat> so at night, I'll have some green tea. Green tea is good for the digestion. It is also uh, good health-wise and <clears throat> helps give you that feel uh, feeling of uh, fullness as well. But it's uh, <clears throat> green tea has been found to be very, very healthy for you. So I'm trying to eat all the healthy stuff that I can um, and get away from junk food altogether. So very rare for us to have popcorn. Haven't had a potato chip in I don't know how long. So um, all these things do add up. Uh, it's amazing if you don't keep track of your calories, how much you actually end up consuming during the course of a day. You will be amazed if you start to track what you eat. And then you'll see, wow, I'm eating like 3,000 calories a day. I mean, that's probably where I was at. So, down to half that so, and feel good at it, too. Okay, if you want to feel like you're cheating, look at this. Thomas's English muffins, right? Who doesn't like Thomas's English muffins? But this is the light multigrain, and it's only 100 calories right there on the package. 100 calories and 8 grams of fiber. If you want to lose weight, fiber certainly helps big time so i make myself egg muffin sandwiches using the light multi-grain thomas english muffins and two eggs uh, scrambled up i use a container like this put break two eggs in there scramble them up don't put milk or anything in it and then cook it in the microwave a minute and a half and you dump that out on your toasted thomas's muffin and uh, so you got 100 calories on the English muffin, two eggs, that's 140 calories. So 240 calories and you got yourself an egg McMuffin. If you want to put American cheese on there, uh, that's another 70 calories of a slice of American cheese. So still doesn't make a bad breakfast. Two eggs, that's 12 grams of protein. And then you got... Uh, 
There's some protein uh, on the English muffin too. Four grams. So not bad. So you got 12, 16 grams of protein with two eggs, English muffin. Can't beat that. In order to properly do portion controlling and keep track of our calories and macros, you do need a scale to be able to portion out your meals properly and be able to determine the correct amount of calories. So digital scale. And this can measure in ounces and fraction of ounces or in grams and pounds. Um, I found that the uh, Samsung program either uses ounces or it uses uh, grams. It goes back and forth between them quite a bit. So definitely get yourself a digital scale. They're, they're, they're inexpensive and uh, makes life a lot easier. So everything that I need is in this bag. Doesn't weigh much, but let me show you what's in there. Now this one I got from Amazon. Tom shoe. It was somewhere around, it was like 30 bucks, but they got all sorts of, these are loop bands and real heavy bands. And this one goes to 125 pounds, 50 to 125. This is base. it's variable resistance. Uh, the more you pull on it, the more tension you have. So this gives you good tension all the way across. So you can get a pretty good workout with that. So yeah, it came with five bands. Here's the other one. 40 to 80 pounds. And I say, and it comes with this nice little bag. Five bands all together. Next one down is 30 to 60 pounds to work out. Getting down into the real light weights, 15 to 35 pounds. And then this one, I, I would never use, but I'm sure somebody would. This goes, if you can read that, it says 5 to 15 pounds. Maybe in a warm-up or something, you would use that. So all that came with that kit there. And came with these handles. So if you tie this to something uh, like a doorway here. Yeah. That's what this is for. I wouldn't use, I can't use this in an RV because the door frames are just not that strong. So, um, but this way you can anchor the bands down and do more types of exercises, but you would loop this through like that. And then if you have this anchored somewhere, you can do, other exercises, but you can do just about any kind of exercise that you want to do uh, that you would do with uh, dumbbells or bar weight. Um, you can pretty much do with these. So uh, curls, uh, hammer curls, regular curls, uh, lateral raises. Uh, I mean, there's a lot you can do with it. You can get a really good workout with it. And then I also got these bands. This, this did not come with that. We bought these separate um, to put some tension on your legs when you're doing squats. So, all right. So you got all that. Just do this real quick. The uh, gloves. Definitely need gloves when uh, using these bands, especially when you get into the real heavy ones, because it, it can chew up your hands pretty good. All right. 
then these are other bands that I got um, at Walmart. They don't sell it anymore. Echelon, medium. These were pretty good. <clears throat> there, it doesn't tell you what the resistance is on these, though. But, but it came with uh, three, what, three different bands. And that's what I started with. But I wanted more, more resistance. So that's why I, I got on Amazon this other set. So, and then this is one that I also got at Walmart, which is, they don't sell anymore. Uh, these have handles. This is definitely easier on the hands. And you can connect all these bands together. And it gives you a really good resistance. Or you can detach them like that. And use just one band so you can adjust the tension. The thing I like better with the loop bands is that I can adjust tension on the fly, which you really can't do so much with the with these. But uh, I found this useful. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Get that on there. And then I also... Grip builds the strength in your hands and also gives you a little bit of a workout in the uh, forearms. So that helps build the muscle in here. Oh. And then you switch hands. And this is adjustable too. I got this at Walmart as well, spry, and it's adjustable. So uh, I like it. Um, so I use this each time also. So I do strength training three times a week. And you can do this anywhere, inside the rig, outside the rig. Or since we travel around a lot of different RV parks, uh, there's a lot of them that don't have a exercise room. So th this is real handy. You know, even if they do have an exercise room, I'd rather kind of work out by myself and not have other people around. Um, yeah, because, you know, maybe I'm a little self-conscious, number one. Uh, but also the, uh, machines. A lot of people have used them and sweated on them. And so, unless you want to disinfect each machine before you use it, I just assume use these bands. And they, I mean, takes up hardly any room, which is important in an RV so oh, and then these go in the other bag all right so that's my gym in a bag definitely investing gloves if you're going to use the loop bands though especially when you get into the real heavy duty ones this one is really really heavy duty so all right so Samsung Health that's the program I use it comes free with uh, your Samsung phone, I have the Galaxy S22. And when you go in there, it shows you your steps. So my goal is to do at least 4,000 steps a day. It shows I got 2643 so far. Uh, you can enter in here your food. So I had two hard boiled eggs so you can just type in look hard boiled eggs whoops fat fingered it hard boiled eggs um show 78 calories 6.2 grams of protein i did have only oh i only had one hard boiled egg earlier we're saving up the calories for dinner because we're going out to eat later so put that in and then if you had other food you can go ahead and add it in at that time I haven't eaten anything else i'll just put done so it shows calories now if you do go out to eat uh so we'll go enter we'll say dinner 
we're going to Olive Garden. So we type in Olive Garden. Oop, pop, Olive Garden pops up. And then you get their salad with their signature Italian dressing. Ah, then you put in how many servings. Ooh, that is a little high, 150 calories a serving. Ah, how, how big is a serving? It really doesn't say. So I guess that would be like one bowl. And don't forget, it's got croutons and stuff already in it. So 150 calories, three grams of protein. So save that. Ah, we did. So, yeah, and that already takes into account the salad dressing. And the salad dressing all by itself is 60, 70 calories anyway. Uh, breadsticks. You know, everybody likes Olive Garden's breadsticks. One serving is 130 calories. Ah, how big is the serving? It doesn't really say. I imagine that's probably one breadstick. So keep that in mind. Breads we need to stay away from. But hit save. Uh, and then if you have their minestrone soup, one serving, that's probably a cup, 110 calories, not too bad, five grams of protein. And then let's say, oh, fettuccine Alfredo. They, they show you the lunch portion <laughs> or their dinner. So let's go dinner. Chicken Alfredo with grilled chicken. At least the chicken will give you some protein. Uh, one serving. Wow. 1,570 calories. That's probably one that you might want to stay away from. That is that is more than my whole daily intake of calories. Yeah, go off your diet to go out. But wow, 81 grams of protein. Oh, wow. That's, that's crazy. Oh, I don't think I would do that. See, you can use this then to help make smart choices. How about spaghetti with meat sauce? 640 calories. That's uh, a little better. 26 grams of protein. So a decent amount of protein. So then I would say, well, I guess I will go with the spaghetti with meat sauce and, and say, save that in there. And we'll say done. So that will put our protein intake. See, the protein's a little low, 44 grams for the day, 140 grams of carbs, not so bad. Um, fat is 39 grams. Not it's That's not terrible. So we've got a good amount of carbs, which gives you energy. We're okay with that. The fat, you want to keep 30% or a little lower perhaps, but the protein is just not there. So you would know, hey, a good piece of meat. <laughs> Maybe I should have had the steak at Olive Garden. And they do offer a six ounce steak. So with the uh, side vegetables. You know, so, you, so if you really want to watch your calories, then you might want to do that. Um, and that would give you more protein. So with just that, the salad uh, and the spaghetti and a cup of minestrone soup, and I had one horrible egg for, for lunch, these 1,100 calories. So I do have a little wiggle room because I could eat up to 1,400 calories without being too bad. So then I would have one of my Greek yogurts, and that'll boost the protein up a little bit, 15 more. So if that, was that bring you to 59 grams of protein, still, still not there. Maybe top the day off with the protein shake. And that would put me right around the 1,400, 1,500 calories for the day. But at least I'd be full. And then I would have an adequate enough uh, amount of uh, protein, so 85 plus the 30 there. So I'll be a little over 100 grams of protein, and I can, I can live with that. But you see, this app can help you make smart choices. Uh, so we can get out of there. I, I absolutely love this app. So 
And then I have my workout routine, the baby steps to 5K. So I got to make up workout because I didn't do anything the last couple of nights. So I, I kind of cheated. So, it, but it'll have you make up the workouts. And it shows you I did already complete 24. It says two unfinished. I didn't realize I was like real shy. It said, okay, you're, you're done. But I really wasn't done. It was in the cool down phase. And so I stopped and it marked it as unfinished. So I got to redo those. But uh, walk briskly for two tenths of a mile and then run at a comfortable pace for approximately 2.85 miles. Now, you don't have to actually run if you don't want to. You could continue on with the brisk walk. You're going to lose, you're going to burn calories, you're going to burn fat. So, actually, the walking is better than running anyway. It's less stress on the body. Don't burn quite as many calories but you're still doing good. So actually there are studies that say that walking, uh, you burn, you burn more fat where running, you burn carbs and less fat. So if that makes any sense to you. So day 63, my exercise program, but they have other ones. So you can check them out. They're, they're all on here. You hit fitness, and then it has all these other things that you can do with it. High intensity, stuff for weight loss, building muscle, balance training. That's an important one as you get older. Your balance is not as good. So that could be a good one to do. Running. Here's the 10K. And then it shows you what the program is like here's uh, like the workout schedule so you start off walking briskly Oof, boy you're already got to be in good shape to do this one run at 4.97 miles an hour for 30 minutes so th that is a i mean i'm walking at four miles an hour so <laughs> just have to tweak it up a little bit so a slow jog for a half hour but you know what? It don't know. You could do a brisk walk instead of the running. And you still, this will help push you along. So, this has been a really awesome tool uh, to use while trying to lose weight. There I was, 183.8 pounds. So I've maintained that weight for the entire month of December. And starting back in January, we will continue on and lose the rest of the weight. So. All right. So there's a tool online that you can get that's free. Just go into Google search and type in macro calculators, macronutrient calculator. And uh, there's a number of them. So calculator.net. Put in your age. We'll go 68. Height. That's the desired weight. You're supposed to put in your current weight. I'll put in my current weight. And I exercise four to five times a week. And the goal is to have weight loss of a pound a week is good. And then calculate. And there you go. Breaks down. Should have 113 grams of protein a day. 247 grams a day of carbs. Um, 53, 53 grams a day of Fat, that includes saturated fat, less than 49 grams a day of sugar. I have eliminated processed sugar entirely. Uh, I look at label ingredients and make sure there's no added sugar to things. So saturated fat, less than 21 grams a day. 
in total calorie intake. Now that's high for me, 1853. I won't lose weight um, that high of amount. So I'll lose weight around 1400 calories a day. So you're going to have to adjust these things, experiment uh, as far as your calorie intake to see at what point you start losing weight. So and it will take you uh, probably a week to figure that out. So that just, uh, I mean, there's a couple of other ones on the, out there that you can use and they all tend to estimate my calorie intake a little high. So probably because of the age, your metabolism slows up. Every everybody's metabolism is different. There's there's the issue. So all right, well that's it for today's video. Uh if you want to see I can do some videos on the exercise routines that I'm doing in that. Uh let me know what you think. All right, so until next time, keep fit, keep RVing, and I'll see you the next time. Happy camping. Bye now. Thomas says thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Until next time, happy camping.